I just decided to jump at the opportunity really. I was like um, like anything else, just closed my eyes and jumped and uh, came here on trial and yeah, the rest is history, you know. Obviously still got many goals to achieve and that I set myself and um, yeah, I just I fitted right in at the club like I, I felt like like I was at home. They made me feel at home. So yeah, just credit to the club really, like just took me in. For you you sort of a young guy, that's uh, that is quite a step to make I suppose. But yeah. you say you got family over here already or? Yeah, my dad's side, his sister and, and my brother's over here, so but he's he's all around the world really, he's with the sevens and things like that, so so the seven scene's not one that's ever really interested you, or? Um, back home, I got, I got in a I got in a few camps with the SA sevens. Uh, dabbled in that a little bit. Um, nothing big or anything like that. But yeah, they were looking at me before I came over here. Um, but not really, not really my scene. <laughs> like a I like a scrum in a mall. <laughs> so. But obviously, someone was saying you've sort of changed positions since you got it. So you you came over as a back row. Yeah. And then you, you've changed to because the coaches have said that to you, or? Um, well, they brought me and I had a chat and said, "Look, Matt, um, we see you as a, as a hooker," and um, I just trusted them and what they said, and um, the rest is history. Really, like I really just got to put my head down and graft. There's still a lot of work to be done um, within terms of my, my my set piece and things like that, and. Um, as we know, we've got the best hookers in the country, yeah, so you know they've really been uh, instrumental in me moving to hooker. They've been helping me and things like that. So it's really been, it's really been good. But yeah, not too, not too worried about like um, trying to climb that ladder and get ahead of them or anything like that. It's just bettering myself and me becoming a better, a better player and a better person. Really, um, setting myself goals and trying to achieve them. Um, not worry, not worrying about like other people and things like that. I'm trying to make them better, if anything, you know. Um, that's that's what I think a, a good club is all about. Like trying to better other people. So it's not about the individual. So it's about the team. I suppose team you kind of keep in touch with your, your family as well, and they they sort of watch you and see hear about what you're doing. Oh, like most that. definitely, most definitely. Yeah, they're, they're passionate. They they love it. My dad's um, he's always on the blower. <laughs> he's always having a call to me before a game. That's the ritual. <laughs> He's in Afghan, so oh, right. yeah, so different time zones and stuff. So he tries to get me before my games and things like that. And how come he's how come he's in Afghanistan? Then? Oh, he's just doing a bit of service. Um, he's got he's got a contract over there with narcotics and explosives. Wow. Uh, yeah, searching and stuff like that. Oh, right, so it must be difficult for him to find time, but he still finds time to ring you, which is a definitely he definitely finds time. Always on the website, your guy's website. I'm sure you've seen a couple of comments from him. <laughs> oh, he's a, yeah, he's a passionate supporter.